All right, so the global five-year anniversary prep continues on the channel today with a full breakdown of all the new units we can expect to get over the course of this celebration, including both the summonable ones as well as the free-to-play ones too. Now, I know most people know about the LRs, right? The Gogeta, the Petito, the Rosé, and the Broly, which makes a lot of sense because those are definitely the most exciting ones, the most hype ones, but in total, we're actually going to be getting nine new units for this anniversary. And of course, we got to get to all of them. So in an effort to keep this video to a fairly reasonable length, like under 30 minutes, hopefully, we're going to try to move through these units a little bit quicker than normal. And of course, I will give you guys all the details and a few thoughts I have about them. But in general, we're going to save the in-depth analysis for upcoming showcases. Okay, so... Without further ado, I've already talked enough, let's jump right into it, and it only makes sense to start with the Dokkan Fest LRs first, specifically the LR Gogeta banner and the two new units that are coming from it. I mean, I could have started with Vegito, I guess, but if I'm being honest, even though I love both of them, I am slightly more of a Gogeta fanboy. I mean, you can't really go wrong with either one, but just ever so slightly more Team Gogeta. Okay, before I piss any more people off, let's get to the details. And uh, here is the Gogeta. This is his base form. This is what he starts off as. And if you guys are summoning and you get blessed, then this is the art you should see appear in your summons. And then once he token awakens, he becomes this TUR Gogeta with this absolutely fire art, man. Like, I think this looks better than the LR art. Actually, I feel that way about almost all of the Dokkan Fest LRs, at least the anniversary ones, like the LR Super Saiyan 4s, the LR Gogeta and Vegito from 3 year. Might just be me, but this, I would have preferred this as the LR art. Moving on to the LR now. He Dokkan Awakens into this right here, the strongest ultimate fusion Gogeta, who of course then uh, transforms into blue Gogeta. But let's start with the base form first. All right, so leader skill, last resort or fusion. So last resort is a new category and also one of the best categories. It's going to be added with the anniversary. Both uh, he as well as the Vegito need this category. We'll take a look at it in a second. So last resort or fusion, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, super attack, 12 key raises attack and causes colossal damage, 18 key raises attack and causes mega colossal damage. The passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 3 when attacking and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Medium chance is 25%, high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack as the third attacker in a turn and high chance is 50% and then transform when conditions are met. So of course if you want him to I guess be a little bit more defensive in this form and have a 50% chance to ev evade or dodge all attacks and you can put him in that third slot even though most of the time you probably want to keep him in the main rotation so that he doesn't go away for a long time but having the option right having the option to put him there in the third slot is always nice and his conditions to transform is that he will transform starting from the fourth turn from start of battle which it's a very easy condition to satisfy, obviously, so I love that. It's not like the, you know, AGL Gohan or the Int Cell, where it's almost impossible for most events to actually see the transformation. For these guys, just fourth turn, and you're good to go. Links, same warrior race, fuse fighter, prepare for battle, over in a flash, Kamehameha, uh, fierce battle, and legendary power, and category is fusion, realm of gods, transformation boost, movie heroes, Kamehameha, and last resort. And for you whales out there, if you're curious about the max stats, 22,630 attack, 24,025 HP, and 11,175 defense at rainbow status. Most people, myself included, won't be able to see them in this form for a long time, but if you're a mega whale, especially for a banner like this, it makes sense actually, but if you plan to rainbow them, then those are the stats you can expect to see. And let's get go over to the transformation now, the blue Gogeta. And in this form, he is absolutely godlike. I think that's the only 
term I can use to accurately describe just how good he as well as the Vegito Blue are. No pun intended, they're really just that good. These two, in my opinion, are still the two best units in the game despite you know, all these other amazing releases we've seen recently since they came out, they're still one and two for me. In fact, I would say Vegito is number one, and then Gogeta is number two, which might confuse a few people because I did say I was more of a Gogeta fanboy, right? Which I am, but objectively, I just think that Vegito's kit is slightly better, but it's pretty close between the two. So let's talk about this blue Gogeta. His leader skill is the same, of course. Super attack, 12 key, raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. His 18 key raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 77%. At the start of the turn, key plus five. Launches an additional attack plus an additional attack and defense plus 7%. With each attack performed, up to 77% and then attacks effective against all types as the first or second attacker in a turn and then he launches an additional super attack and high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks as the third attacker in a turn and his active skill is ultimate kamehameha greatly raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy can be activated when facing only one enemy whose hp is 50 percent or less starting from the next attacking turn once only. Now needless to say, this hits really, really hard and his passive actually is even better than it seems, right? He gets 7% attack and defense for each attack up to 77%, but because each of these boosts are calculated separately, once he launches 11 attacks, he's actually getting a total boost of 213.29% as opposed to 154%, which is what it would have been if it was just 77 plus 77, but you know, math calculations, 213%, and uh, that results in just massive, massive damage output from this guy. He does have the potential to launch like three supers in a turn. If you put him in the third slot, he actually launches at least two guaranteed supers and uh, has a high chance to evade. But once again, I mean, we're dealing with Vegito Blue, or sorry, Blue Gogeta, so you most likely don't want to take him out of the main rotation, but having the option is, once again, always good. So there's the Gogeta. There's definitely more I could say about him, just more fanboying I could do, but he speaks for himself, and we still got eight more units to get through. So let's move on to the other unit that's coming with his banner the STR Bardock, which Dokken Awakens into a Bardock and Gine. And his leader skill is Movie Heroes, or their leader skill, I guess, is Movie Heroes, category key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, or STR types, key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, key plus three, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when there's an ally whose name includes Goku on the team. Captain Ginyu and Junior are excluded, plus an additional attack plus 100% when there is a movie boss's category enemy, plus an additional key plus three, and attack plus 100%, and performs a guaranteed critical hit when there is an enemy whose name includes Frieza, soldier excluded. So it has to be an actual Frieza. Um, so he's one of those units, like, uh, who else works like this? I think the Tech Trunks also works like this, but there's a few units out there where basically they get progressively stronger as you meet certain conditions. So it's 100% attack and defense off the bat, and then he gets Q plus three, 100% attack and defense when you have a Goku on the team, which is pretty easy. And then another 100% if there's a movie boss's category enemy, but if you have also a Frieza, then it's another three plus Q plus three, attack plus 100%, and then guaranteed critical. So. Once he's like fully stacked up, if you get that full passive activated, insane unit, right? But even if you only have like two of those, right? Only just like Goku and then attack and defense plus 100%, that's still attack and defense plus 200%. So a really good unit. And then we didn't even get to the active skill, right? Gine support. So you pop that active skill. Gine, I think, throws like a big piece of ham or something like that. And uh, it removes all ally status effects and all allies attack plus 22% for two turns. So not only is she affecting the current 
rotation, but also the next rotation, and can be activated when HP is 80% or less, starting from the fourth turn. From the start of battle, once only, Lynx, Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Pride, Cold Judgment, Prepare for Battle, Experience Fighters, Fierce Battle, Categories are Pure Saiyans, Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, and Goku's Family. Overall, fantastic, fantastic unit. And uh, next up, we have the Vegito Banner. And Vegito, like I said, is, in my opinion, currently the best unit in the entire game. That is just my opinion. If you guys feel differently, that's okay. We can talk about it. No need to get mad about it. There's the Vegito. If you get blessed, there's the art you will see in your summons. And uh, this TUR art, while not as good as the Gogeta one, I think it's still amazing. I still think it's better than the actual LR art, but that's just me. And here is the LR himself, and then he will, of course, transform into Vegito Blue once you pass the fourth turn. So, leader skill is Last Resort or Patara, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 150%, 12 key super raises attack and causes colossal damage, and 18 key raises attack and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 3 when attacking, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack, high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, as the third attacker in the turn, transform when conditions are met, transformation conditions, fourth turn from start of battle, and uh, essentially he works almost exactly, almost exactly the same as uh, Vegito, or, or Gogeta rather, Free transformation, links obviously are a little bit different, same where your race, Brainiacs, power bestowed by god, over in a flash, fuse fighter, fierce battle, and legendary power, realm of gods, or categories, realm of gods, Batara, future saga, transformation boost, time travelers, Kamehameha, and last resort. The stats here, 22,120 attack, 24,475 HP, and 11,788 defense for my whales out there. And once he transforms, Vegito Sword for the 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage. 18 key Omega Finish Blow raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 77% at the start of the turn. Key plus two launches an additional super attack plus an additional key plus one and attack and defense plus 7% with each attack performed. Um, a key up to plus five and attack and defense up to 77% as the first or second attacker in a turn. And once again, the calculation works the same as Gogeta. So plus 213.29% after 11 attacks as opposed to 154, which is what 77 plus 77 would have been. And then as the third attacker, he launches an additional super and has a high chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack. So the main difference here between him and the Gogeta is that uh, while Gogeta launches an additional just attack as the first or second attacker in a turn, Gogeta launches a guaranteed additional super attack. So that's a big difference right there. Also, Gogeta doesn't stack any additional key when he launches attacks, even though he does get key plus five right off the bat. Vegito will get key plus one for every additional attack up to five, and then also gets key plus two off the bat. So once he's you know, launched five attacks, which only takes like two turns, he will have key plus seven as opposed to Gogeta's key plus five. A minor difference I know, but still a difference. And like I said, man, they're very, very close. Like Gogeta does get attacks effective against all types, which obviously is huge as well. Very close. I do think that Vegito is a little bit better, but you know, you can't really go wrong with either of these blue fusions. And uh, what else? Oh, active skill. Final Kamehameha greatly raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage, can be activated when facing only one enemy whose HP is 50% or less, starting from the next attacking turn. And his links are Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, and uh, all the other ones stay the same. Okay, so that is the Vegito for you. Before we go or leave from these guys, we do need to look at the last resort category. Because as I said, it is one of the best categories in the game. We have the fusions as the leaders. And then we just have a bunch of crazy, crazy units in this category, man. Um, Spirit Bomb Goku or Bombku or Gumku. Um, LR Vegito from the three year anniversary. We have uh, LR Gogeta, of course, from the three year anniversary. 
and then you know just a ton of top tier TURs too like we got Gogeta we got um, Super Vegito we got uh, Zamasu Turles as support is amazing here um, Vegito Blue uh, other Vegitos base Vegitos uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Goku STR Cooler uh, I mean, the list goes on, really. Like, this <laughs> this is an amazing category, and it is, in my opinion, definitely one of the best categories in the game. And now let's talk about this uh, Trunks here that's coming with the Vegito banner, who Doken awakens into the Trunks and Mai. And their leader skill is Joined Forces, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%, or AGL types, keep plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 70%, Super Attack, Shining Cross, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and the passive is kind of like uh, Bardox except you know for different categories or different enemies so they get attack and defense plus 100% key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% but there's an ally whose name includes Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan on the team so basically a blue unit plus an additional attack plus 100% when there is a future saga category enemy plus additional key plus 3 an attack plus 100% and performs a critical hit when there is an enemy whose name includes Zamasu or Goku Black. And uh, active skill raises attack by 628% temporarily and performs a critical hit, stuns enemy and halves own defense within the same turn. Can be activated when your team has an ally whose name includes Trunks Teen Future, Trunks Future, or My Future attacking in the same turn self-excluded starting from the third turn from start of battle so this is one of the craziest active skills in the game 628 percent critical hit stuns enemy but of course having halving your own defense is a little bit dangerous depending on the offense you're running but if you're facing only one enemy that can be stunned then you're good because they're gonna be stunned and it might hit so hard that it might just kill the enemy anyways right so uh, that's awesome. Love the active skill. Links, Brainiacs, Cold Judgment, Courage, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Solid Support, and Fierce Battle. This is a very interesting link. What is that? Attack plus 10%, attacked enemies, defense minus 15%. That's not a common link. I don't, I don't remember the last time I saw that. Okay, cool. And categories are Future Saga, Time Traveler, Strain Forces, Last Resort, and also Revenge. So that is Trunks and Mai for you. And now let's move on to part two of the anniversary, or at least the summonable units. Uh, we have the top legendary summon banner with the new Int Rosé, as well as the Broly, Chila, and Lemo. And we're going to start with Rosé first. This is his, um, you know, base, like SSR form. And then he will token awaken into this guy right here. Now, don't dig this TUR art as much but it's still nice uh definitely prefer the lr art though in this case so there is the lr rose his leader skill is future saga key plus four hp attack and defense plus 130 percent or extreme int types key plus four hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack 12 key holy black kamehameha raises sorry greatly raises defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and the 18 key holy light grenade greatly raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 66% plus an additional attack plus 6% per key meter bar up to 120%. So the key meter bar is basically how much key he has up to 24, right? So once you have a max of 20 key, he'll max out at 120% and then key plus two with each final blow delivered up to plus six. So final blow would be when you kill an enemy, right? Recovers 6% HP at the end of a turn in which attack was received. And the calculation here, I think is separate as well. Yes, his additional attack plus 6% per key is calculated separately for a max boost of 200 and 65.2% at 20 key. So this dude hits ridiculously hard. He hits ridiculously, ridiculously hard. Defensively, he does leave a little bit to be desired, right? Like he doesn't tank the best, but his damage is top tier. Like his damage is outrageous. And he also has an active skill, which is 
Rage. Rages can be activated when HP is 66% or less, starting from the 6th turn. From the start of battle, you might have noticed the 666. It's not an accident. And his links are Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Kamehameha, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power and Categories, Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Kamehameha, Exploding Rage, and Inhuman Deeds. Stupid name. Stupid name, but uh, he's in that category. Okay, so once he rages, he's kind of like a giant form transformation where he takes no damage when he's in this form. And uh, he gets some crazy, crazy stats, 50,000 attack base, uh, 65,000 rainbowed, and his 12 key causes destructive damage, which is a... Does it say the multiplier here? I don't really see it, but destructive damage, which is a big multiplier, and his 18 key also causes destructive damage, and his passive gives him key plus one in addition per key sphere obtained, and attacks effective against all types. Now, uh, I think it only lasts, yeah, only lasts one turn, so you can't really abuse it. I mean, if you could use this form for more than one turn, it'd be kind of busted, so I get it. But uh, that is the Rosé for you. He's insane. I think that much is obvious. Now, next up, let's move on to the Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. Now, this is the form he starts off as, which is actually a very good thing, because you can actually farm his super attack as just a Broly. And then he will token awaken into... The TUR Broly right here, which honestly, like art wise, is not their finest work. And then he Doken Awakens finally into Broly, Chilai, and Lemo. And this has got to be one of the most wholesome arts in the game, right? Just like this whole little, you know, friendship, little family they got going on here with Chilai teaching Broly the whole okay hand sign thing. I like it, man. I, I love their relationship in the movie. It's one of my favorite parts. I mean, my actual favorite part was Gogeta Blue, but um, this was awesome too. Anyways, we're getting sidetracked. Let's talk about the unit itself. Leader skill, movie bosses, category key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 130%, or extreme fizz types, key plus 4, HP, attack, and defense plus 100%, super attack, 12 key, surprise attack, greatly raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack. And the 18 key survival attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to enemy. And passive, uh, this is probably one of the most unique passives that we've ever seen because it's there's just a lot going on, you know? Attack and defense plus 15% per key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5%, and key plus 2 per key sphere obtained with two or more fizz key spheres obtained. All allies attack plus 39% with two or more AGL or STR key spheres obtained, and all allies defense plus 39% with two or more tech or int key spheres obtained. It fades enemies attack, including super attack, with seven or more key spheres obtained. So yeah, I know that's a lot to take in, but basically if you want them to hit super, super hard, I mean, they're gonna hit hard regardless, but if you want them to hit the most hard, then you give them Fizz Key Spheres, and then if you want them to be a support, you give them AGL or STR and Tech or Int, depending on if you want them to, to support Attack or Defense. So for Attack, it's AGL or STR Key Spheres, and then for Defense, it's Tech or Int Key Spheres, and then they get Guaranteed Dodge. Guaranteed Dodge if you give them 7 or more Key Spheres obtained, regardless of the type. Links are Brainiac, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And categories are Movie Bosses and Joint Forces. So that's a little bit unfortunate, only two categories for them, but I mean, it's because of the mix of characters, right? You can't really put them on too many categories, so hopefully they get some more categories in the future. Right now, only these two. There you go, guys. Uh, LR Broly, Chila, and Lemo, another just ridiculously awesome unit. All of these summonable LRs from the anniversary are just amazing. Like, they're all really good. I think, obviously, Gogeta and Vegeta are on top. And then we got Rose, then we got Broly. These two are both fantastic. Uh, they do different things, so it's kind of hard for me to say, like, which one's better than the other, honestly, but they're both really amazing. That covers all of the summonable units. We'll be getting for the five year anniversary. Now, let's move on to a new free to play unit that everybody will actually be able to get because sadly, 
not everyone will be able to pull all of the summable ones I just talked about, right? So the first guy we're going to talk about is the Zamasu from the Zero Mortals Plan event that Doken Awakens into LR, Goku Black, who is also going to be the first LR in the game that gets an Extreme Z Awakening in, I believe, Part 3 of the Anniversary. So there is the Goku Black. I would go over the pre-awakening details and then the post-awakening details, but honestly, we're going really, really long with this video, and uh, it doesn't really matter because everybody's going to token awaken him anyways, right? So, or sorry, Extreme Z awaken him anyways, so let's just talk about that. His Extreme Awaken details are Leader Skill, Time Traveler's Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 100%, and then Super Attack, 12 key. Colossal damage lowers attack and defense, and then 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. His passive is attack and defense plus 59%, key plus 1 with each attack received up to key plus 6, and then launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each final blow delivered up to 59%. So when you first start off, he hits like he does like some decent damage, but if you can actually get him to kill a few enemies, he can deliver some really, really impressive numbers. And uh, overall, just a excellent unit, especially for a free to play unit. Uh, his links got the power, cold judgment, nightmare, dismal future, fear and faith, shattering the limit, legendary power, categories, room of gods, uh, Patara, future saga, dragon ball seekers, time travelers and in human deeds. And also, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his super attack level becomes a max of 25, as opposed to the regular 20 for LRs. So that's one of the other big changes for a LR EZA. And lastly, we got two more free-to-play units that are both from this Three Saiyans Led by Fate story event that also both get Extreme Z Awakenings too. We're gonna start here with the Kid Broly. And uh, he token awakens into Kid Broly and I mean it's Kid Broly and Ba in the art, but it's still just Kid Broly. And once he easy A's, his leader skill is gonna be pure Saiyans category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or int types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense infinite stack and causes when I say infinite stack, I mean that you know he keeps it for the entire event and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy and his passive is attack and defense plus 70 percent and disables enemy's guard medium chance of evading enemy's attack including super attack delivers the final blow to recover 20 percent hp at the end of the turn and his links are saiyan warrior race saiyan lineage innocence prodigies type of snails prepare for battle and shattering the limit one other thing that's pretty awesome is that he launches a super attack at 9 key or higher as opposed to the regular 12 key, right? And let's move on to the Kid Vegeta here, which token awakens into Kid Vegeta and Raditz and also gets an Extreme Z Awakening through the same Extreme Z area event as the Kid Broly. His leader skill is going to be Joint Forces, Category Key plus 3, HP, Attack and Defense plus 77% or Extreme Class Key plus 3. HP, attack and defense plus 40%, super attack, raises attack, stacks infinitely, not as good obviously as the Broly with the attack and defense, um, and causes supreme damage and lowers attack, and his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, key plus 1, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%, and chance of performing a critical hit plus 10% per pure Saiyans category ally, self-excluded, attacking in the same turn. Also launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when your team has another joined forces category ally attacking in the same turn. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Freeze's Army, Brutal Beatdown, Thirst for Conquest, Prepare for Battle, and Shattering the Limits. And his categories are Pure Saiyans, Joined Forces, Youth, and Terrifying Conquerors. And that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope that it was still under 30 minutes. I try to be concise as possible, but it still takes a while to just like get through all these details, especially with the passives becoming longer and longer these days. 
But a quick overview, free to play units we're getting, Kid, Vegeta, and Raditz with their Extreme Z Awakening, Kid Broly with an EZA, and also the LR Goku Black with an EZA, the first LR EZA in the game. And then we're also getting, of course, LR Broly, Chi and Lemo, and LR uh, Rose for part two of the anniversary. And then for part one, we're getting the Trunks and Mai, as well as the uh, LR Vegito for the Vegito banner. And then for the Gogeta banner, we're getting Gine and Bardock, as well as LR Gogeta for, of course, the Gogeta banner. And is there anything else I missed before we go? No, I don't think so. I mean, chances are I'm probably gonna remember something that I missed as soon as I publish the video, but that's just life. Nothing I can do about that. So as far as I'm aware right now, that is gonna conclude today's video. All nine units coming, all nine new units coming for the five year anniversary. Get prepared guys. Let me know in the comments down below which one the most excited for maybe like one free to play one and one summonable one which summonable units are you the most excited to pull and which free to play units are you the most excited to farm i'm gonna guess i'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that most people are gonna say vegeto for the summonable and then lr goku black for the free to play i mean it's a bit of a toss up between gogeta and vegeto but maybe more people are gonna say Vegito because he is generally considered a little bit better. Although, a lot of people these days just summon with their heart, right? They summon for the one that they're bigger fans of since a lot of units are super broken and you don't really need to have like the best unit. So maybe Gogeta then. I don't know, for me it's definitely Gogeta. Gogeta is definitely number one as far as my most excited summonable. And then free to play, I mean, I gotta go with Goku Black. I mean, it's a LR with an Extreme Z Awakening, the first one. So that is definitely pretty hype for me. Anyways, that is the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it went super long. I do apologize for that. I like to ramble, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know that's just a norm for my videos. And as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.